I think that what we see is not a war on drugs. It's a war on poor people with drug involvement. And the casualties are terrible. The United States is engaged in an experiment of wholesale incarceration that is having a multi-generational impact. And I think we're barely beginning to see the damage Yo. that it's doing. The American prison system, incarceration nation, lock you up, throw you in the federal or state pen. But nowadays it's shifting into corporation with the movement from public prisons to privatization with the ticker symbols on the New York stock exchanges. Three to four letters, it spells out a profit to investors. Put your money in the double and the trend is America's to continue to utilize the prisons for the so-called corrections in the 80s. A drug war spiked the prison population real crazy. Congressional law. 1986, crack versus powder kicks in. You got crack in the longer senses with conviction. Prison rates nearly tripled since then. If you're black, one in three chance to be in prison. And that's ridiculous. America is number one in the world for locking people up. Check the figures. You've got a huge amount of industry connected to prisons. You've got prison construction. You've got jobs that come from running the prisons. You've got prison health care. You've got... Uh, manufacturer of prison uniforms. We're even seeing industries come in and try to use prison labor as a cheap way of doing their manufacturing. Cats selling drugs get locked up. Full rights taken away while you sit in the cage waiting a day for your release. Step in the world that we live in. They legally can treat you like a slave due to your conviction. Look at the 13th Amendment. You thought this nation eradicated slavery with emancipation proclamations. Incarceration in the new world the slave system. Prison labors. 23 cents minimum wages. And federal prison is lower in the state pen. You thought slavery was over? They repositioned it into a billion dollar industry. And politically they strip away your right to vote with no full citizenry. What are the options? The job market? Fill out another job application just so it could be discarded. The streets watching and the cops watching. Fill out the warmer documents kicking the door with no knocking. The prison rate skyrocket. Throw away the key until it's rusted. And they sell it to the public with the word justice. It's disgusting when you see the numbers broken down in the social class and color. We have a two-tier system in this country of dealing with substance abuse. If you're white and a child of privilege, you're likely to end up in drug treatment if you have a drug problem. If you're poor and a person of color, you're likely to end up incarcerated. And it's a very, very vivid division. What we've seen is an escalation in incarceration rates.